Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with another instalment in my Alice journal. It did go off to a bit of a slow start, didn't it? Like I said, with life getting in the way. But I'm here and I'm cracking on. Right, I showed you that I put one signature together in my last video. What I've now done is I've put all the signatures together. But as you can see, I've not cut all the pages down to the final size. Yeah, I have done my first one. So this is what my signature looks like. I've decided on the final placement of the papers. So we've got like this. I've decided not to put any of the vintage Alice book pages in. They're just, they, they were not suitable for this journal. They were too grungy. This is not a, it's not a dark grungy journal, is it? So I didn't like them. So yeah, I've also added the piece of black paper. I, I intended to do that, totally forgot. Then Tanya at Tatty Treasure went, oh, that'd look nice with black. I'm like, yeah, of course it would. So we've got red there. And then the centerpiece that we're gonna put some pockets on the side of. So that's my first signature. I am putting the rabbit as my first signature. I've got Alice on the front. I'm gonna have the rabbit as the first signature. I'm then going to have Alice as the second signature. I'm then going to have the Mad Atta's Tea Party. Was I? No, I'm going to have the floral one as the centre signature. Then we're having the Mad Atta's Tea Party. And then we're having this one. Yeah, so that's the order they're going to go in. And as you can see, even before we start embellishing, this is looking quite thick and chunky. But remember, we have got a two and a half inch spine. So if I show you that, yeah. So we've still got quite a lot of room for embellishment in there and lots of pages for journaling. So I'm just going to show you with one of these signatures how I cut my pages down. It's not, I don't use any fancy method. I do have what you might think is a fancy trimmer. It's my old workhorse that I've had for 25 years. It's just a rotary trimmer. It's not, it is quite a heavy duty one. But before I start using this, if you look, some of my pages are still too tall. Now we did decide all the pages were going to be eight inches high. So I'm going to put, I'll put all these out at way and I'll just keep this one signature that I'm going to show you. You really don't want to see me do all five on camera. So I'm going to go through these signatures and before I get the rotary trimmer out, I'm going to use my little choppy choppy one. And I want all these to be eight inches high. In fact, I'm not going to use my little choppy choppy one because that one didn't even go up to eight inches. This is where I have to get the longer one out. Yeah, silly woman. So we know the first two are the right height. So I'm going to leave those as are. This next one is the correct height, I think. No, it's still a bit too tall. So I'm going to put those sideways so I remember my order. And I'm going to cut this down to eight. I always cut the height before I cut the width. Don't know why. Seems to work good for me. That is the correct height and that one this next one needs to be cut down these are basically some of the ones i decided to add at a later time so that's eight inches that didn't need much off at all then we've got I mean, my music paper is eight because I, I did cut it to eight but the depth is not correct this black sheet needs cutting down to eight inches high That one is already eight. It might be a little bit taller than eight inches. That I'm just going to get a tiny little trim. Yeah. So it is black, red, and then maligned. Some of the centre pages are going to have pocket pages, and I've decided I'm going to make envelopes with some of the single-sided kit pages now. 
we've got the height all sorted on that one now I've got to go ahead and cut this I'm gonna move that and get my little one back to be honest I only use that big trimmer when I'm measuring anything that needs to be bigger than six inches I find this one much more user friendly so I always want my cover page to cover all the pages so I'm looking at those now and I can see that red one needs a smidgen off oh let me do something else I decided not to have the red one at the front mind you, I will I'll have the red one at the front of this signature it don't matter if it's a different order so I'm gonna cut a smidgen off now some people are confident enough to go up down the whole lot of signatures with a craft knife I'm not I can't do that I'd ruin my whole signature I'm not that good with a craft knife if you put the whole lot in your rotary trimmer unless you've got one that's far better than mine you'll find they move and they might not be level but every time I've cut one I check it to make sure it's disappeared inside my cover page so that's done this is the next one sticking out that just needs a tiny bit it's probably far better far more efficient ways of doing this but this is the way I do it it's the way I find is works for me and there's less room for error now I didn't take enough off that I'm gonna take a bit more off again I'd rather take a little bit I'd rather not take quite enough off than take too much off and it's for this type of journal this type of journal I like to have a nice flush edge I like it to sort of look like a book that you could open and read but then when you start going through it it's like wow look at all this stuff inside if you know what I mean you probably don't <laughs> so we're getting there this is the rest of it I need to trim a little bit off that then when I've gone past this first envelope I'm gonna when I get to the envelope should I say I'm going to fold the envelope up and then trim the rest so we're still I didn't take enough off that I can see it poking out on my signature cover so I'm not a happy bunny with that I mean you can cut some pages shorter again that's something I do in some journals I'm not doing on this so I'm quite happy with how that's going so far I think I might need to take a bit off the height of that um, yeah I'm not too happy with the height of that vellum page so I'm just going to smidgen I'm going to smidgen a bit off yeah take a smidgen off I just love the look of the doily against the vellum it's a very thick vellum here we go put your doily back in right I've used slightly different doilies as well in each signature I just thought it looked good what did I use in the first one yeah we've got a rose one in the first we've got one I don't even know it doesn't have a might look a bit like an apple I don't know so I'm happy with those pages the next page is going to be an envelope this one happens to have a red envelope so I might take the flap off I might not for now I'm just going to fold this envelope in half and pop it in it's quite a thick envelope this do you know what I am I'm going to take the flap off and leave those as pockets so I'm just going to take a sliver off the top of that envelope sometimes I do sometimes I don't oh it goes I'm putting it in the wrong place it goes there I want it there yeah yeah happy with that so then I'm going to pop these others in I mean it might bore you watching this I don't know you might never have done this before and it might help you so yeah now I'm going to put a pencil mark on this one to know where to cut it because we're starting to need more cut off aren't we 
So pencil mark, and I'm going to put just inside the pencil mark. And I'm going to cut the next page to it as well at the same time. That's that. Mark, need more off. Need more off. Do it. Do it. No, we're fine. We're fine. I just not tucked it in enough. The next page is one of these bags. And then we've got the music paper, the black sheet, a line sheet and the red sheet. So again, I'm going to cut these last three together. So a little pencil mark. Maybe I'm a bit OCD with how I do these, but that's how I do them. But, oh, oh, I cut it as well. <laughs> Look at all these bits I've just flung everywhere. I'm just going to make sure because I'm cutting three sheets at once they are all tucked inside nicely there's my pencil mark I check on my trimmer that it is level because if that top's not quite level I check with these guides here I need that to go over a bit there we go, oh, we've got a crinkly edge there, just on the music paper, that doesn't bother me, I can live with that. Let's have a look, perhaps one sheet less next time I chop, and there we have it, second signature, all cut down to size, yeah. Right, I'm going to pause while I do the others, because you really don't want to see me do all those, and then we're going to, I'll be back, two ticks. And I'm back. Right, I've cut all my signatures to size. I'll show you. That's the journal cover. Why do I cover my desk in rubbish for a starting? Yeah, the journal cover. It's now got all five signatures cut down to size, looking all perfect. <laughs> I'm a bit of a perfectionist when I do these hardback journals. Not quite as, uh, yeah yeah loose and free as i am when i do soft cover ones so that's what they're going to look like in there so as you can see before we decorate this at all it's looking pretty full isn't it so we might lose a couple of pages along the way we have got quite a few plain ones in haven't we i'm thinking i may end up losing we've got a second cream sheet that may end up going in each signature it's quite thick just to allow us to put in all the embellishments that I want. It's going to have a lot more embellishment in it than my last hardcover one. That one really was a more of a writing journal. But this one, I want to use all the gorgeous papers. So, signatures are done. Uh, if you remember, I said that's the cover that I did, the topper. So that's what it's going to look like on the front. Do you remember I said I've got some uh, muslin fabric? And I'm going to use it on the spine. I'm going to show you why I'm, that's not going to be happening. So that's my book. Even if I painted this black, this muslin fabric is so thin. One, it's not the right colour black. Can you see how thin it is? It's too thin. It's going to be fabulous for me to boil curtains that I want to make. It's not going to cut the mustard on this. It's lovely fabric. I can see me cutting this into strips and using it as some kind of ribbon. It's absolutely gorgeous. But not for this journal. Wrong colour black, if you know what I mean. Wrong shade of black, yeah? So, that's not going to be happening. I need to get, I want some, a thicker muslin, a calico, I think. I will have a look after Easter and I'll have that for next weekend. Yeah. A calico a black calico i'm thinking so let's put cover out of way and i'm left now with my signatures i just want to look at the <laughs> top of the cover i'm glad people agreed that simple is sometimes the best yeah because i was really happy with how that went in the end that's just going to get matted on the cover 
one of my signatures lost its bag i'm not sure which one it lives in it'll get put in as we come to it so these are our five signatures i'm going to do some decoration on the center signature today to start off with and do you remember i decided to use an 8 by 8 sheet as a centerpiece i want that in my center signature which is the one with the flower cover so i'm just moving that to this signature and we will then put the other signatures away they're just looking so good now aren't they i love it i just love that look Ooh, <laughs> i'm a weirdo now we've got a cleaner desk now so if you remember i said i'm going to extend the pages using a sheet of this lovely glittery 12 by 12 that came in that gorgeous die cuts with a view, view pad that deborah sent me so i'm going to go ahead and do that now it's going to require a bit of measuring but i'm sure you can put with a little bit more measuring <laughs> yeah there is more measuring than the average journal i would say in this one but hey ho so this page is going to fit there in the center so it's looking like we need to extend each page by get the ruler out one and a one and three sixteenths of an one and three eighths of an inch yeah i don't want to cover too much of this up so I think I want the pocket to go to about there. The pocket, yeah. So I'm going to cut a strip of paper from this. Where I want it to end is there. So the paper is going to need to be two and a quarter inches. Yes. So I'm going to cut a piece of paper four and a half. Because I'm going to fold it over and have a pocket on either side. Yeah. That's going to look lovely with that dot as well, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And because I'm doing a pocket on either side of that centre signature, we're going to need two strips of paper, four and a half inches wide. I am going to be sewing around it. You don't have to, you can glue it. But I've decided I want to sew. So I also want it the same height as the page, which is eight inches. Oh, that corner's a smidgen damaged, so I'm going to go slightly over eight, and then I'm going to cut a strip off there. There we go. To bring it down to the eight inches. And I want to cut two pieces four and a half inches wide each. one and that's two Ooh, the big trimmer out the way now and that and we're going to take these to my scoreboard and score them down the center well, i'm not going to take them anywhere i'm going to bring my scoreboard to me here we go <laughs> scoring tool i know you're in there there you are I'm going to try and be tidy-ish ish so that's four and a half inches wide i'm going to score it down at two and a quarter and i'm going to hope this folds nicely with being glittered I've, a little bit of glitter has come off if i've scored that but i don't think that's a problem yeah the glitter on the edge is just I can live with that do you know when i cut that uh, piece of music paper and the edge went a bit wrinkled and i said i can live with that i couldn't i swapped it for another piece <laughs> so, so i fibbed i couldn't live with it i just couldn't live with it i'm not gonna do these with a bone folder i think it's going to I like the edge as it is it's the center of the signature it will make the pockets a little bit deeper now covered in black glitter oh nice 
it's going to be everywhere so let's take this out you'll see the effect now so where's it going we wanted it to there so that's going to be our centre page it's going to look like that in the centre of the signature and I quite like that so these are going to be tucky pockets you'll also have the same on the other side and I think that goes really well with the polka dot a tucky pocket and what I want to do is sew these on I am going to glue them first and then I'm going to sew them and I'm going to use black thread so this is going to be the most difficult part getting it the right distance so I'm going to take the center signature center piece of paper out of the journal the one that it's going to be next to and I'm going to put that inside there I'm going to make it slightly shorter just to be on the safe side because it'll be so annoying if this center signature sticks out further than every other page it'll be it'll be gutting so I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of glue I'm using cosmic shimmer and I'm only going to glue it glue one side along this top and along this bottom I'm using that can you see got it lined up ish and I want it slightly shorter than that page slightly shorter I'm happy with that Oh, it's moved it's moved oh blimey doodles it's moved that's better now before I press the bottom on and put it on my mat it's moved again this is not working is it it's it's not working I don't know what I'm gonna do <laughs> put it on top of there yeah it's pretty on top woman stop being so blooming perfect there you go that'll do us <laughs> I'm gonna use these dots as a guide they are straight on the center yeah use your dots use your dots then you'll know whether you've got this on straight won't you that's what I'm bothered about having it at an angle I think I'm happy with that I think I'm happy Yeah, I'm happy. What's it look like on the other side? Love it. Now, I'm going to put some glue on the other side before I even dare to sew this. There we go. check where our dots it's not moved that's still looking good to me looks good to me all right now just let's see the effect i'm going to get the whole signature back i'm going to put this page in and then i'm going to put that inside to have a look so that's our signature yeah i think i'm happy with that so we're flicking through, we're flicking through. <laughs> we get to there, we open that and we're like, ooh, pocket. We turn that over and we're like, ooh, pretty picture and pocket. That, that's it, that's what I wanted, I've done it. So now I'm going to glue the other one on. And I'm going to use that as my guide for how far to glue it on this time. Ooh. I can breathe a sigh of relief. You no, know, because this paper's so gorgeous and it's like going to be end at world if I ruin it. Well, it actually, I'll have to buy another pack, won't I? But I don't want to buy another pack. I want to get it perfect first time. Yeah, if you're not such a perfectionist as me, just it don't, you don't, this don't bother you. You don't have to go to these lengths, but. I know some people are there's different types of journals and do you know what I make different types depending on my mood some days I, I, I like to do a perfect journal other days I just throw stuff together and I've got a journal made in a day this is not a journal that you can make in a day 
so I'm just lining I'm going to use my big scoreboard for this it's going to do me a favour and I often use my big scoreboard to help me line things up it's going to stop that moving you see and I'm going to use that edge it's, it's like a corner that helps you isn't it it's on a bit too far so I'm going to pull it off a bit Oh, I'm, I'm happy with that now. Really happy with how that went. So at this point, I would then sew around because I wouldn't trust that glue, the amount I've put on. If you're not sewing and you just want to glue, put a bit more glue on than I did. But that, I love that. I like it. I'm really happy with that page. I just think it needs sewing so I'm going to do it again I'm going to pause and sew it and I'm back I've done oops upside down so that's all sewn around now I have sewn it on the inside so that we've got the nicer stitching where the picture is and a little tip here Tanya at Tatty Treasure uh, made me remember this tip uh, I actually think I sew it arty maze on the wrong side of the stitch and if you just get your bone folder and go along it it just it gives it a better look and a better feel there you go it feel a bit smoother and it looks a bit nicer as your needle punches through the paper well you know what happens when you punch from one side to another it can like bunch it up can't it around hole on other side so your sewing machine needle does exactly the same thing so yeah that just makes it feel a whole lot better so there we have it the centre signature so let's pop that in and have a look what it looks like oh yes I'm really happy with that I love that yeah and we can go and pop yeah anything we want in there I've not got any Alice stuff to hand I've moved it all out of way I'm just going to stick a blank tag in yeah there we go yeah love it absolutely love it so thank you for joining me uh, I'll be back with more Alice videos over at weekend might even get more than one a day in you never know so yeah you now know how I cut my signatures down to size hopefully it's helped some of you and yeah I'm really happy with how this pocket idea worked out so thank you very much for joining me have a lovely Easter and I'll see you next time bye